Welcome back to the More Love Conversation series. Yes, we are here and today we are going to be talking about why it is so important to have a long time even when you're in a relationship. Absolutely. What's the reason why we're doing this, babe? Well, this didn't come out of nowhere. Um, we talk a lot and we hear a lot from our couples about how some of our couples don't like giving each other alone time. They don't like the other partner, spouse going on a girl's trip or a guy's trip. You know, they may, you know, they may be okay with a night out, but anything more than that, they just feel uncomfortable. So we wanted to talk about that a little bit, um, give some ideas of how that may be possible and why that may be beneficial. Cause we understand it. We can see how that, that may be, um, something that throws you off a little bit, but you know, we want to kind of put some light on it and kind of show how it's possible and even give some ways that it, it really could benefit your relationship. Absolutely. And, you know, we as women, you know, we like to do sometimes things that are different than the men like to do and vice versa. Men sometimes may want to do some things that we may not want to do. So the first reason is, hey, it gives you time to do the things you want to do. You can take a day to yourself. You can go to the spa. You can do a, a girl's activity. Hey, if you've gotten to that level where you're most comfortable, maybe you could take a night away by yourself with your girls. Who knows? But spending a long time by yourself allows you to hone in on the activities that you normally would not be able to do or desire to do with your significant other. I like that. You got your own activity is important. But another reason why this is good is before you got with your person, before you got with your partner, most of us had a, 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 a at least one best friend, if not a whole another team. And that team kind of helped keep us whole, help keep, help support us, you know, help keep us grounded. And those are things that were beneficial to us. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of times we get in a relationship, guys and girls time sometimes goes out the window. Now, understandably so, life throws challenges, people's lives change, uh, people aren't as available and accessible, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, like my wife likes to say, we should all have a go-to and spending that guy time with your go-to or that girl time with your go-to or spending, you know, getting a guy trip or a girl trip, just a chance to relax, kick it and really, you know, release some stuff. Because let's be honest, you can't always, you don't always want to put everything on your partner and your spouse, you know, because they, you know, you're doing stuff a lot. So having that guys and girls time and chance to get some other stuff off your chest, you know what I mean? And get some other opinions can always be a benefit too. So getting that guys and girls time could, is definitely worth it and definitely a benefit in a relationship. Absolutely. And again, if you can't do a whole weekend or a girl's trip or a guy's trip, pick a day. Pick a girl's sure, day man. or a guy's day. It's all good. Um, that leads me to the next point I want to make because it allows you time to miss your person. You don't gotta be you don't underneath. Miss me every day. I mean, I miss you, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I can't take my time no, by myself. Right, you yeah. know, so absence miss your does person. make the heart grow fonder. It really does. So you know, let your person do him or do her, yeah, and man. then it allows yeah, you man. also to just reflect and say, "Wow, I really miss my person." You know, when I see him or when I see her, it's going to be like this. Or so it gets you, you know, moments in which you probably think about the beginning when it wasn't where y'all was together all the time. Like, so give you, yourself the space and the time to miss your person. Absolutely. Absolutely. I got just to add to that. It actually, with the missing, it, it, it can spark some good conversation, give you something else to talk about in your relationship rather than the mundane day to day or the stuff that you guys already know because you're always doing stuff together may give an opportunity to add some interesting things to your relationship and add to that communication. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else, babe? Absolutely. Well, I think that it's very healthy. It's healthy to have a long time. It's healthy to, to miss your person. It's healthy to take time to breathe. Mm -hmm. Everybody in a relationship has different situations. So, you may have, you know, one or two children. You may have many children. You may have a demanding job, a demanding career. You may be a caretaker and a significant other. Or you may be, you know, a caregiver to a pet. You may have a pet. But either way, at the end of the day, you know, spending time with yourself allows you to breathe and release all of the responsibilities that are attached to you. Because when you have such, you know, a huge plate, hey, everybody needs you. But when you spend that time by yourself, you are able to breathe for a moment. And it's necessary because you're able to be rejuvenated and you get back to your person with a little bit more energy. And I'm sure he or she would like that. Absolutely, for sure. 
energy is always good and when the energy is positive energy that's a blessing so that that time to yourself allows you to you know kind of restore that energy mm -hmm. another thing that that time apart that you know spending that time apart may do is it may help either restore some trust or maintain the trust and i know some people are like well if we got trust issues how I'm gonna, how you not if you don't take that step and again like my wife said earlier it doesn't have to be a weekend or a week but you know allowing you know that time with their you know with their with their friends allowing their time that time out away from you you know checking on things allowing them an opportunity to call you and check in with them allow them an opportunity to do some of the things that you've requested of allow them an opportunity to show you that you know they're putting in that effort and sometimes that time apart can allow that you know and if if again if you're maintaining the trust that's just that's just building if i know that i could go kick it if i know if i could go to the cigar lounge and kick it with the fellas for a second and watch the game and my wife's not tripping then that's building the trust against us that's allowing me to you know feel more comfortable with her that's allowing me to feel more open with her and that's also allowing her to be okay with me going out if i'm going to cigar lounge kicking it checking in and coming home on time and not wilding so it also has an opportunity to dig a little deeper in your relationship and either restore or maintain that trust so mm -hmm. i think that's a benefit as well for sure mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely you know and then also just to add to what you said it allows you both to restore the trust you know like restoring the trust to to the point where you can go out and not feel like your person is pressuring you and then also the person who may have been left for a few hours to have that again a long time where that while they are out but then also saying wait a minute this is good i trust him or her this is we're getting to a better space and then like he said maintaining if you haven't had trust issues then that's all good you just continue and to trust that hey we can have our time together and it's all right wow. mm -hmm. absolutely yeah I think the biggest one, babe, and I'm, I think you'll agree with that, is at the end of the day, man, you deserve, deserve it. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You deserve that time to yourself. You know, we all are attached to labels. Husband, wife, mm -hmm. business owner, worker, manager, supervisor. Yeah. You know, hopefully, you know, a lot of those labels are what you've asked for. Those are labels that you accept. Those are labels that you strive to have. But there's still there's still a lot sometimes and it comes with a lot of expectations from every one of those labels and angles. And sometimes just having that time apart and being able to have your alone time, like my wife said earlier, helps you have the energy to, to respond and be ready for those labels. And I think as partners, you got to understand that that time apart, if we want them to be the best version of themselves, that may be what they need. Absolutely. That time away from them doesn't mean that they're doing something that they couldn't do with you. It just means that maybe they're getting something else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're not everything to them, but it just may mean that sometimes they get a chance to appreciate what you really are when you're not in their presence. Right. And then, hey, we all know, like we said, you deserve it. You truly deserve it. And the greatest relationship in your life is the relationship with yourself. With yourself outside of your relationship to your higher power, if you believe in one. Right. So when you spend that intimate time with yourself, like Vernon said, then you can continue to work on being your best self. When you're your best self to you, you could be your best self to everybody else in your life, and that's a win-win. And we want to hear from you, so like, subscribe, or even put it in the chat. Definitely ask yourself that question or your significant other oh, if you don't think it's a good idea. Talk about it yeah, for man. sure. All right, well, we are out. Good talking to you. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time.